Proof that we are out to prove is Newton's second law, or F equals M A. Another way of writing this is that acceleration of an object equals the force that was imparted on it divided by the mass of the object. So we're going to, that is what we're going to set out to prove. The way we're going to prove this is by using another equation that acceleration is in. The basic kinematic equation x equals one half acceleration times time squared, or a equals two times the distance traveled over times times squared, which should, if this, uh, if Newton's second law is correct, equal force over mass. To conduct our experiment, we traveled to the Walmart with the address 3651 Classen Boulevard, Norman, Oklahoma 73071. Because this was not a laboratory environment, there will occasionally be people in the background of our video. We did get permission from a store employee to conduct these experiments, however, they assumed no liability if we were injured in the process. We used the same basic setup for both our experiments. We measured out 6 meters and marked the beginning and end of the distance with pink exercise weights. Then we found a shopping cart with a mass of approximately 18 kilograms. In both our experiments, we found the time each run took from the video. In experiment 1, we made three runs. The first run, we applied 7 newtons of force to the shopping cart and pulled it over 6 meters. The second run, we did the same thing again but applied 14 newtons of force to the shopping cart. The third run, we did the same thing again, but applied 20 newtons of force to the shopping cart. For every run, we used the same shopping cart, newton meter, and distance. This experiment proves that as force increases, acceleration also increases as defined by Newton's second law. So these are the results that we got for doing experiment one. As you can see, as the force in the cart increases, the actual acceleration of the cart also increases. To prove this, we calculated the theoretical acceleration of the cart using the kinematic equations. Now when you plot these two sets of data, you'll see that although the actual acceleration and theoretical acceleration do not match exactly, they both follow the same trend. So in our first experiment, we showed that whenever that A equals F over M, regardless of what force it was, as, as shown through two different forces. However, for our next experiment, we're going to show the same principle with changing masses. So whenever mass increases, now acceleration is actually going to decrease based on this formula. In the second experiment, we used a 9 kilogram exercise weight and a 16 kilogram exercise weight in addition to everything we used in the first experiment. We made two runs in the second experiment. In the first run, we put the 9 kilogram exercise weight in the shopping cart and applied 20 newtons of force to it. In the second run, we put the 9 kilogram exercise weight and we put the 16 kilogram exercise weight in the shopping cart and applied 20 newtons of force to it. For every run, we used the same shopping cart, newton meter, and distance. This experiment proves that as mass increases and force stays the same, acceleration decreases as defined by Newton's second law. Now these are the results that we got for doing experiment two. Instead of increasing the force on the cart, we increase the mass that is applied to the cart. And as you can see, the actual acceleration of the cart decreases as you increase the mass that is applied to the cart. We prove this by calculating the theoretical acceleration of increasing mass by using the kinematic equations. Now if you set these two data points and compare them, you will see that although they do not match exactly, they do follow the same downward trend. For our application of Newton's second law, we chose to talk about gas mileage. As everybody should know, a smaller car accelerates faster than a larger car because they have less mass. This is evident in Ford's F-150 Ranger because when they changed the frame from steel to aluminum, they had a 12% increase in gas efficiency. This aligns with Newton's second law, F equals MA, because since it has less mass, it will accelerate faster while also using less gas.